Hey, my name is Michael. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the iOS 10 UI kit that you can get from Apply Pixels. This is a massive UI kit that contains most common interface elements and screens in iOS 10. It contains icons, titles, shapes, containers, controls, maps, messages, music, widgets, you name it. Basically everything. Each screen have been meticulously crafted in vector and neatly arranged in specific artboards, making this a go-to resource when you need to design any iOS 10 app. What you'll need is this folder, downloaded from applypixels.com, and a copy of Photoshop, preferably CC15 or later, because we need artboard support. Now let me dive in and show you how I use this template. Let's open up the main PSD file. Now this is a pretty big Photoshop file, and it looks something like this. As you can see, we've got a bunch of different screens laid out here in separate artboards, and they cover most of the common iOS 10 elements, including some of the new stuff like widgets and all of the new messaging stuff and a bunch of other things. Now you can think of this template as your personal assets library when you're building out new apps. And the way that I use this template is that I use this file as an assets board of sorts. And I simply drag and drop the items, the entire screens or the individual elements into a new document as I need them when I'm building out an app. And you can stop the video right here. That would give you enough information to go download this thing and, and create apps. If you want to see me do like a demo app, you can continue watching this because, you know, let's have some fun with this. Let's design an app. Let's create a new document. You know what? Let's make a selfie app. Let's envision we are designing the next massively popular selfie app. Now, actually, I think I'd like to start with this screen right here, the home screen which could have like a, a quick shortcut to take a selfie, right? Let's just drag in this entire artboard into a new document, release it. This transformed our new document into an artboard with the same dimensions as the one we copied over from the assets library. Now let's make our selfie app. First of all, you know what? In our app, you can't do any of these other things. It's just about selfies, right? I'm just going to hide these other options. I'm going to select the background of this container and we're going to make it a little smaller. So when you force touch this icon, all you can do is take a selfie because let's face it, that's the most important thing, right? We're going to need a quick icon for this. I could jump into some of my other templates and create that icon, but we're going to go a little more cheap and just make a placeholder. Let's put together the icon. And I just had a great idea. You know what? This app isn't just about selfies. It's about cat fees. It's you taking pictures with your cat. Investors can feel free to contact me directly through Apply Pixels. Take cat fee. Great, wonderfully simple placeholder icon there. Okay, so that's the first screen in our app. When you force touch our wonderful little cat icon, uh, you have the option of taking a cat fee. You know what, let's also edit this. I mean, come on, let's get serious here. Just going to make a tiny little cat cliff. There we go, great. Now we have a custom glyph as well. So now we want to build the actual app, right? I've been teasing you. This is the first artboard that we copied in. But if we want another artboard of that same size, all we do is click that little plus there. As soon as I click that little plus, a new artboard with the same dimensions appear. Now let's start building out this wonderful new cat fee app here. I think we'll need a main screen where we can watch all the wonderful pictures of cats. Let's drag in a nav bar and uh, we can just pick one from the assets library here. I'm going to drag in a status bar and a nav bar actually. Just dragging those in and locking them in place. There we go. Caffey. Now let's get some content in here. I am going to define image that we'll eventually have. Found a wonderful picture of a cat. One of my favorite cats on the internet. He is hungry. You probably need some social features too, right? You should be able to attach some sort of comment to your cat fee. Let's just find message icon here in the assets board. We'll drag that in. 
put that here. Let's get a standardized text. Favorite cat. This app probably also needs some controls for navigating. We could go for a hamburger button and you know, that will be you know appropriate with this cat here, um, a cheeseburger button. But I think I'm gonna go with a tap bar because you know what, tap bars are the best. Snatch a tap bar here from uh, the assets library. We'll pull that in. I'm hitting Command T so that I can easily drag things around. Now this comes with a bunch of standard tap bar items here. Uh, we can change those, obviously. Uh, we'll change this to cats. And uh, this contact icon won't do. Let's just zoom in. We'll add a little cat. To be honest, I never thought I'd use the custom shape cat in Photoshop. Great. So that's obviously the tap that we're on right now. You're watching cats. We'll just clip that there. Now you can just go ahead and imagine me doing these other icons, but I'm not gonna do those because this video would take way too long. And we've got other important screens to make before we are ready to present this to the many investors that I'm sure would be lining up. Uh, let's add one more button to this screen. We wanna be able to add a picture to this. Let's go to the assets library. We'll find a standard little plus. There we go. And when you click that button, you should probably go to a camera. So rather than just adding a new blank artboard by clicking this plus button, I am going to find a camera in the assets library. There's one. I'm just going to take that and drag it into our document. Move it around until we are satisfied. Got another cat, longest cat in the world. So that's pretty much that screen done. When you tap that little plus, you are directly taken to a standard camera, which will help you take a picture of your cat. And maybe we also want to have like a profile of sorts. And uh, I guess we could use the camera roll artboard to build that off. I'm just gonna take that and drag it into our document. We'll just change up these details. We'll erase that back button. And we don't need this tap bar. We made our own tap bar. And here's where our bots show their strength because we've already made a tap bar on this screen and uh, we'll just go find that in the layers pane and I'll just copy it into our new artboard right here. Boom. And it places it exactly in the same spot in this artboard. Let's just remove that and uh, we'll move down these rows a little bit. Probably need like an avatar of sorts. And uh, I saw a picture of a rather handsome young man. I'm just kidding, it's my ugly mug. But here it is. Let's just clip me onto this circle here. And yes, you can use my picture for mockups. It's okay. Mr. Full Name. And maybe there's some details, right? Need to know how many cat fees I've uploaded. 42 cat fees so far and counting. And obviously I could start to put in content in these fields. I'm not inclined to do that right now. Um, but yeah, I guess, you know, this gives you an idea of how to very quickly pull in assets from the artboards and, uh, and, and build out your interface. There's a bunch of standard stuff here and the stuff that's not here are easily built from the stuff that's here, actually. You know, this isn't <laughs> the prettiest app. I fear that it will never get further than the mock-up stage. But I hope this gave you an idea at least of how to work with this template. You simply use it as your own personal assets board and you can pull things in, you can edit it. Almost every single thing in here is editable and vector. It's always a great idea to start with standard iOS elements and then you can always skin them from there. You can always add flavor to them, but you need those basic conventions down. And every single spacing and font and grit and icon and shape and container here has been really meticulously created from screenshots from iOS 10. So this is as close to the real deal as you get. I hope this UI kit helps you get a head start when you're designing iOS 10 apps. I hope it helps you power your workflow and lets you get results faster. You can get this resource and other cool design resources by becoming a subscribing member at applypixels.com. Thanks for watching.